It's still the Rising Shadows event. Lasts about a few more days, ends on Sunday, which is the last day for Shadow, Shiny Mewtwo, and Raids. But what a good way to start out the day. We do have this beautiful and new, got Shiny Surskit out here. Very nice, been hunting this for a while, uh, ever since the Hoenn Tour, because that was when it released. Finally got it after a few months later, finally got the Shiny Surskit. I do love this one a lot. I think I wanted to pick this one over the Cacnea, but I thought Cacnea would be a little bit more rare, so I chose the Cacnea. But hey, dude, three star shiny Surskid. Can't complain. Great start to the day. So let's see if we get some more shinies possibly today. Hopped in a Reggie Gigas raid. Hey, Style Savant. Let's see. Can we get the blue Reggie? Uh, not blue, but CP is 3047 weather boosted. That's kind of high actually. Let's catch it and check those IVs. Regigas in the bag. Let's go ahead and check what it looking. Three star, but not too great. Hopped in a remote raid for this. Uh, Regigigas isn't the best Pokemon, but definitely a cool just collection piece. I just want it because it looks great and um, I love the design of this Pokemon and I do love that shiny. Uh, it's a pure normal type, so just all your fighting types will just take that down. Yeah, Ivy is not too great, but the shiny looks very good. So hopefully we could hop into one and find a shiny possibly. And we do have a few shadow raids going on, so hopefully there'll be some Beldums or maybe some Sneasels. We did raid hour yesterday and something crazy happened. We ran into this right here. Where is it? Bam, right here. CP915, 100% IV, Hasuian Quillfish. I think uh, Overquill is a very good uh, poison type attacker for raids. Let's go ahead and evolve this Quillfish into a Hundo Overquill. I was going to say shiny, but it's not shiny. Can't be shiny yet. So, and bam! 100% IV Overquill. Man. And with the dex entry, nice. This Pokemon looks crazy to me. And I like how they kind of gave Quillfish uh, an evolution, which is pretty cool, because the regular form cannot evolve, but this Hisuian form can. Yeah, 100% IV Quillfish. Evolved that yesterday during raid hour for Reggie Gigas. And of course, it's not a raid hour if you don't get the shiny, and bam. We got the shiny Regigigas last night for a raid hour. CP 2418. Not the greatest, but we finally got our first shiny Regigigas. I mean, it's a great shiny. I mean, I definitely want a few more just to have for the collection because it looks great and I do think it looks cool. But it's not very useful, so might just slow down the raids, but I definitely want one more shiny possibly. And you know what time it is. Let's go ahead, pop this daily incense, and see what comes up off of that. And that's it for our daily incense. 19 Pokemon off it. Nothing too crazy, but hey, I mean, Onyx and Chimeco, pretty cool. And we got some Golbats, uh, Puchianas, pretty cool. And we got the Hasu and Coolfish. Definitely need more candy for that, so I can max that to level 50. Doing a lot of evolutions today, but I mean, we got to do it right. We got our Gimme Ghoul over here. Got this last night from my friend Wendy from a trade. 98% Gimme Ghoul. I think that's my. That's definitely my best one. Let's just let's send it all the way to a Golden Go because I really want the Golden Go. I love the Golden Go. The pure gold on that guy looks amazing, and he has got the little uh, fanny pack too, which is pretty pretty unique. There it is, dude. Golden Go in Pokemon Go. Dex entry Golden Go. 98%. And it's a great ghost type. IV is 98%. Can't beat that. I love the Golden Go. Finally evolved it and finally got a decent one. And let me know in the comments down below. If you got that Hundo Gimme Gold or Hundo Golden Go, let me know. And also something interesting I kind of wanted to mention, we got the Pokemon Go web store from Niantic. If you go to Pokemon uh, PokemonGo.com or PokemonGoLive.com, you go to the uh, menu button and hit the web store or store option. And they got a new web store. Um, I think it's pretty cool. 
but for this box, how do we feel about that? $25, two Elite Charge TMs, two Elite Fast TMs, 10 Super Incubators, and five Battle Passes. I mean, it's definitely worth more than 25, but I don't know, $25, I just, I think I'd rather just spend on Pokecoins, honestly, because you get more from Pokecoins and it's like you can spend on anything other than this $25 just Ultra Legend Box, limited time only. <clears throat> trying to get you with that limited time only <laughs> right there but there's that kind of web exclusive but I do like that they are offering an extra amount of Pokecoins if you buy from the web store so we got the $9.99 for $12.60 you get an extra $60 so it's $1,200 and then you get this extra $60 and then $20, $20 $26.50 and you get extra $150 coins not too bad I'll definitely take as many coins as I can because I'm not really trying to spend too much. I might spend a little bit here and there, just a little bit. But I think I think I might go with the $40 one, 5,600 Pokecoins. coins. You get the extra 400, and then they they claim the best value, the $100, 15,500 Pokecoins, coins, and a thousand free coins. I guess free coins. Let me know, guys. Let me know in the comments. How we feel about this are you guys going to be buying coins from the web store or are you just gonna still just do free to play let me know i'd love to know all right first shadow raid of the day we got the shadow polywag and not the best shadow pokemon to raid but it's the only one over here right now let's go ahead and knock them down one stars are really easy to take down but three stars might be a little um a little harder to solo but duo for sure and they're just yeah shadow polywag down I, I do like doing these because i like to save up the uh purified gems for this weekend for shadow mewtwo one which one shadow shard two are candies nice decent rewards of course final strike and i don't think this can be shiny so but here it is let's go ahead toss that Toss the premier ball and the glitch. <laughs> and there it is. Shadow Polywag in the bag. And IVs are really bad. <laughs> Just took down Sierra. Let's see what we can get from her. Give me that shiny perp crow. Hi Sierra. Give me those rewards. Let's see. Love that. Love the Stardust. Loving the Shadow Shard. Got our fourth one. Loving the egg. Ooh, you know the stone. That's kind of nice. And can we get the not shiny Murkrow? Throw that. Okay. There it is. Nice throw. One, two, three shakes. Let's check those IVs on this per Murkrow, not shiny. And it's real bad. And let's go ahead to get that animation going. Love it. Mmm. Shake it up, blend it up, and there it is. Purified gem. <laughs> Ooh, popped into a Arlo battle as well. Let's go ahead and see what he can give us. Didn't see any cliffs over here, but Arlo can do, and so does Sierra. So we're we getting. Let's see, get that, get the shard, get the egg, and oh, max revives. And can we get the green teddy? Can we get the green? Not green. And our last recent shiny pickup, we did get this cool one. We got the shiny Houndor yesterday as well. One star, but first shiny Houndor. I do love the shiny Houndor. What was that, like a lighter, darkish blue? And then when it evolves to the Houndoom, it stays the same color, which is pretty cool. And I mean, hey, Hanum has a Mega and it's a top tier fire type and dark type so hopefully we can get one more shiny Houndor during this event and evolve it to the shiny Houndoom. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did smash that subscribe button and drop a thumbs up if you did like it and also let me know in the comments how do we feel about the shadow raids. Are you guys grinding these shadow raids and how are you doing on our regular shadow raids. Let me know in the comments down below and I hope I can catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Later y'all.